Hello Makers! Welcome to another episode of 3D Maker Noob. I'm Joe, and today I got me a rhino. I also still have my knife, so I'm gonna cut the rhino open. Stick around! Welcome back Makers! As you can see here, I have the OneHow Duplicator i3 Plus. Now, this is the third printer I ordered. Uh, a few months back, uh, when I started looking for another 3D printer, uh, the OneHow Duplicator i3 version 2.1 was the printer that I was actually going to go for. Now, the only reason why I didn't go for it um, was because it just didn't have the excitement of having a printer that's built from the from the ground up. Um, this, as I as I've seen at least is in two or three pieces, so it wasn't that exciting to me. Uh, but the more research I did, the more I saw that there is quite a huge following to it. There's huge forums online. Um, so I figured, yes, this this is actually a good printer to, to have um, and also a very good printer to improve on um, because it still has a few quirks, which a lot of people seem to find fixes to. So I figured, why the hell not? Let's get one. So, I've been playing around with the Delta for the past three days. Oh man, <laughs> that was an interesting printer. Um, uh, well, it still is an interesting printer. I haven't broken it yet, yet. Um, uh, I it took me about a day to put it together. Um, then it took me about another day of tinkering out, and tinkering around with the settings. It's, it prints very nicely, um, but it still has a long way to go. So, anyway, enough talk about the, the Delta, because I'm going to be doing an episode on that. It won't be a review, because, strictly speaking, I don't know anything about printers just yet. Um, but I will do sort of a, 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 an initial thought of what I think from a noob standpoint. So, man, this is quite well. This is packed really well. Ooh. Okay, so let's see what's in the first box. The first box we have a cable, USB cable. Yet another plug that won't fit in Malta. But thankfully, I have a lot of these because I like to build my own PCs. I have a lot of these lying around, so I can use that. <laughs> Scraper tool. So, funny story. I had, I have three printers here. Um, I've bought everything, and I mean everything that I could buy to be able to produce good content and be prepared. Uh, the additional lenses, the lighting, the microphone, the capture card, everything. This was the one thing that I didn't buy. The one thing I needed to take the prints off the printer. So uh, yesterday I had to go out and um, and buy me one of those and obviously now I have two so yay bit of tools bit of nuts and bolts well not really nuts but micro SD card spool holder oh man a spool holder and this is I'm guessing what goes on top of the frame so awesome so it goes there Oh, this is the base. Now, the first thing I'm going to be checking, yeah. So, I, um, I, I, I checked a few videos online uh, about the Duplicator i3 Plus, and then also came a video about a recall they had issued, uh, because the springs under the heat bed were digging into it and shorting out. Um, and they suggest that you put washers just underneath. Now, thankfully, I have another 3D printer I can print some washers with uh, because I don't have any washers lying around. So, As uh, something else I want to point out, as I was doing the reviews, initially when, uh, after I, I was going to get the version 2.1 and then went, to, went on to the plus, I was unsure whether I wanted the uh, Josef Prusa i3 Mark II or the i3 plus um, but I kept seeing reviews and everyone complained about the noise that the bed made um, and I can actually see why um, 
it actually does produce quite a bit of noise. It's not something that's not gonna that's gonna bother me. Um, something tells me I'm gonna find a way to fix this, um, so I'm not I'm not really that bothered. Um, and as I said, I, I like to make things, so if there's any way I can improve on something, whether or not it's something that's already made or something that I can create, I'm all for it. Okay, more packing. But I have to say the packing on this machine is absolutely awesome. And I'm guessing that's the top part. See, this is what I mean. It's just two pieces. I just have to put on like four screws and that's it. It's done. It's actually quite heavy to just be sitting on four screws, come to think of it. So once again, something tells me there's going to be improvements to that. I'm all for it. Anything else? Anything at all? Oh, we have another plate, bed thingy. Some free filament and printer's guide, instruction manual. Quite detailed, actually. But I'm a man, I don't need instructions. No, no, joking aside. Um, I actually like instructions. I like good instructions. Um, particularly, I like the uh, Yosef Prusa i3 Mark II instructions because they're extremely detailed. Um, another one on the book because they're slightly small, so I've been reading up online. Um, seeing as I'm gonna do a live stream of that build, I need to be prepared uh, so I don't make a fool of myself in front of tens of people. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, all right, let's put this together um, and try it out. So the printer is now assembled um, along with some pretty pink spool of PLA uh, to do some testing. Uh, I haven't switched it on yet. Um, I did the, the, the slight modification to the springs on the heat bed. Um, what I did actually, I had, um, I followed the advice of the one how official um, um, announcement about the recall. And that is just to use sort of like a credit card type of card, um, cut slots and put it in between. For now it will do because I don't feel like taking this off, putting, getting the delta back on and printing the washers and whatever, but I will eventually do that. Um, but it seems to work fine. So I, I'm gonna switch it off and hopefully it doesn't smoke out um, uh, the same way it did um, with um, Chet 3D printing. Um, so this is awkward. So yeah. It's not ah, okay. Wait, hold on. I need to switch it on from there. And I need to switch it on from here. Yay, Rhino's alive! Perfect. Touch screen. Woo! So, the 3D printer manual says that obviously, first you need to uh, do some homing. So, we'll go to tools. That's actually quite responsive. Um, move. Home all. Where's home all? Home all. It's from X, Y, and Z. But I don't see a home all. Let's do home all. Home X. Home Y. And homes. That's actually pretty close. Um, so now I should be checking if the the z axis is this the axis z axis is well this is parallel to the bed from one side to the other. How I'm going to do that doesn't say, um, but I have a an idea. This actually works perfectly. This is the um, the box of the um, uh, the SD card that they send you, and as it homes, this fits just perfectly on one side. So I'm just guessing. Yeah, 
that's pretty much spot on actually slightly less tension on this side than there is on this side yep slightly slightly less tension on this side so it does say is to power it off and move it manually until it's level so I'm gonna try it there slight adjustment That's actually spot on. I'm, I'm quite proud of myself. See, MacGyver. Um, so, next thing to do is check whether this, oh man. Okay. So, now we need to adjust the springs. So I have my trusty Apple sticker paper here. Which I'm going to check the leveling, so I'm just going to... Yeah, man. Too much. I don't know exactly how much friction there, there has to be. That's still too much. Ah, all right, the other way around. Oops. Sorry. I'd say that's about right. So it tells you to move it um, alongside each rail manually. So that's one. Okay. I can see that they haven't figured this one out completely yet. I know there were some complaints because of the 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 T T screws or something like that. They should, I think they, they should start supplying spacers. I, I don't know, there has to be an easier way to do this. I know, I mean, okay, fair enough. This is not that complicated. Um, but there has to be an easier way because you can't really tell if it's exactly the same amount of tension. You, you tend to forget by the time you skip from one to the other. That's about it. Sorry, I'm not talking. It's, it's a lot of concentration. It's very early in the morning. <laughs> so, that seems to be just about right. Um, so, we move the extruders, everything, blah, 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 and turn on 3D printer. See? That makes more sense. Um, using the switch on the back of the control panel, once initiated, press tools, move the axis to raise the extruder to about 30 millimeters. Okay, 30 millimeters. So, tools, move. Ah, how do I know? That sounds about right. Uh, now we get to preheat. Uh -huh. Move the button a bit more, just in case. Preheat PLA. Okay, 
So that is heating. Um, right, so we'll put in some filament. We'll let it heat up and we'll take it from there. So the printer is set, filament is in, it's extruding fairly nicely. Um, what I'm going to do now is just <laughs> find the slot where it's under the SD card. There it is. Um, and let's do a test print. So we'll do print. OK G code. I'm doing OK. So. Almost there, temperature is slightly rising. And you can actually pause the print. This is, uh, if, it, 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 what, if it is what I think it is, it's awesome that you can actually pause the print. Um, so continue. Let's see. Oh, this goes. Can I take this off? Way too much. Punk. Well, it's printing. Where there the where the thickness is good or not, I, I still have to learn that. Um, how you feel that it's it's squashed enough but not too much, as in the, the extruded plastic. Um, it's looking fine though, so... Yeah, we'll let that run, and we'll come back in a moment. So the test print is done. Um, we had the OK sign, uh, which came off right of the SD card that was supplied with the, uh, with the printer. Um, it, it printed okay, first layer was fine, it printed with the raft, came off easily off the bed, came off very easily off the raft, so I'd say it printed very well. If I have to be completely honest, and this is me being a noob, and only have experience with the Micromate Delta 3D printer, it's, it's not impressive. Now, having said that, bear with me, um, this was just literally me grabbing the SD card, throwing it in the printer, and pressing print. I don't know what the settings were, I don't know what the speed was supposed to be, so on and so forth. So this is just the test print. Obviously I'll, I'll be printing much more with it, I'll be fiddling around with the settings and I'm definitely going to be using Simplify 3D in order to slice the prints. Initially, yes, it's fine. Um, uh, however, if I compare it to the, uh, the 3D Benchy, which, uh, which I printed off the, uh, the Delta, um, there is a significant difference in, in print quality. Um, if, if I had to see these for the first time ever, I'd say this is, this is a much, much, much better quality and I would prefer a printer that printed this rather than this. Um, however, and, and, and I need to point out that this was my third test print on the Delta. Um, so I still had not touched any of the settings. I just opened Cura, which was made for uh, for the Micromake, um, and I just printed it off it, and it printed flawlessly. The overhangs are fine, there is there is no stringing. I printed both models with the same PLA, which is the Rigid Ink uh, Pink PLA. Um, same settings, same temperature. It was I, I had printed this at 200 degrees. Um, same as I did this, and I see a lot of, uh, I see a bit of stringing at the end. Uh, you can see between the fingers where, where the extruder sort of moved from one finger to the other, you can sort of see the residue. Um, on, on the side, on, on the palm of the hand, you can sort of see sagging of, uh, of, of, the, of the extrusion. So I'll definitely do a bit of more tinkering with the settings and, and run this through again. Um, However, having said that, um, for the price, I got this. I got this is a very good price from um, a European uh, supplier. I think it's in Sweden. It's called uh, 3D Prima. 
they do free shipping um, anywhere for uh, as long as you spend over 100 euros. They have a lot of filament as well. Um, um, very easy to build. It took me less than five minutes, um, less than five minutes to set it up. Um, so I'd say for, for someone who's just starting out, this is absolutely great. Uh, it's very user friendly. Touch screen makes it much better. Um, it, it, the cables are easily labeled. This is just B with B, A with A, C with C, so you can't really go wrong. Uh, spool holder could be slightly bigger because when you have one kilo spool, it just doesn't fit. So we'll be printing an additional spool holder. Uh, but other than that, I'm very happy to have this printer uh, after all the rave um, uh, that um, uh, that I've been hearing about it. So I, which was the reason why I wanted it as well. And I get to compare quite a lot of printers. Uh, obviously, now I still have the uh, original Yosef Prusa i3 Mark II, which, by the way, Mark II, not MK2. It's Mark II. I'm sorry, I had to bring that up because I keep hearing MK2. It's Mark II. It's a second iteration. Um, uh, and I know this because uh, in Malta we're fixated on cars and every new model of a car has a mark in front of it so you have the Ford Escort Mark 1, Ford Escort Mark 2, so you have the i3 Mark 1 and i3 Mark 2. Anyway, let's put that aside now. Um, right, final thoughts. Very happy with the printer. Um, I'm excited to be able to print uh, larger things with this. Um, uh, I, I have a lot of, sort of special filaments for Merged Ink to try out. I have more filaments coming on uh, from everywhere around the world, actually. Um, I will link, uh, I, I will put a link in the description to the official One How recall announcement, uh, the video and the details of the serial codes. Um, so you can have a look just in case uh, you receive uh, a one how with uh, with the washer issue. I will also make a link to Chuck's video um, where he gets uh, electrocuted and burnt by Rhino. Um, <laughs> but he's all right. Um, so yeah, so uh, that is all for today. Please subscribe, leave a comment, like like this video, follow me on Twitter at 3 dmakernoob. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.